Find the Laplace transform, the piecewise defined function, f of t equal to t between 0 and 1, 1 between 1 and 3, 4 minus t between 3 and 4, and 0 elsewhere. Now, we could just work this out using the definition of Laplace transform. It's going to result in a lot of integration by parts, and we have to break up our region. So the idea is going to be, I want to trade that in for having to work with the second shift formula and working with shifted unit step functions. So if we can get behind those two ideas, then we can get to our answer very quickly. Now, what's our recipe going to be? So the recipe for pulling apart a piecewise defined function, what I need to do is I want to take our function and then I want to rewrite it in terms of shifted unit step functions. Once we've done that, that brings in our second shift formula. So the idea is going to be, we're going to take each of our regions. To each region, I'm going to assign a height one step function. So the idea is if we have our endpoints A and B, that's going to be defined as, okay, we're going to take our unit step function. It'll be u t minus a minus u t minus b. Then once I have all of these, we can reconstruct our original function f of t just by writing as a sum of the step functions times the function for each region. So once I have it written as just a linear combination of these, then we can go to our second shift formula. And then here, what do we have? We take our function f of t, take the unit step function ut, shift everything by a, then we take the Laplace transform. The answer that comes out is just going to be Laplace transform of your original function f multiplied by e to the minus sa. That'll get us to our answer. Now, for our special case, let's get our step functions first. So, for our first region, the endpoints are going to be 0 and 1. So, our first step function is ut minus ut minus 1. So, we'll have this graph right here. For our second region, a is 1, b is equal to 3. So second step function is going to be ut minus 1 minus ut minus 3. Then for our third region, endpoints are going to be 3 and 4. So we'll have ut minus 3 minus ut minus 4. Take each of our step functions. We multiply by the function that goes with each region. So we'll have t, 1, and 4 minus t. If you take a look at what's happening with the graphs, we're basically just taking the graph of the entire function and breaking it down piece by piece. What's left? The second shift formula and bookkeeping. So what we're going to do is to take my function f of t, rewrite it in terms of the shifted unit step functions and the functions from our piecewise defined function. We expand everything out. It's going to give us six terms. Now, to apply our second shift formula, we have to make sure that our function is shifted in the same manner that our unit step functions are. So let's go through one at a time, see how we get to our answer. First term, we have u of t times t. So here there's no shift. And because u of t is going to be equal to 1 if we're greater than 0, okay, it's like it's not there. We're just looking at the function t. If I take the Laplace transform of t, we get 1 over s squared. So the rule is if I take the Laplace transform of t to the n, we get n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So here n is equal to 1. Next term, okay, I have minus u of t minus 1 times t. Note here, this t is not shifted correctly. So I want to write it in terms of t minus 1. So we'll do that as t minus 1 plus 1. Then we could think of this t minus 1 as another variable, say t prime. So here, what are we going to do? Our shift, okay, the a is going to be equal to 1. So our factor is going to be e to the minus s. And then we have to take the Laplace transform of each term. So I think of this as just being a t. That's going to go to 1 over s squared. And then we have plus 1. The 1 goes to 1 over s. Okay, next term. We have u of t minus 1 times 1. Now here, 
the one, okay, there's no T in there. So no matter what you do, it's gonna be shifted correctly. So in this case, what we'll have is, okay, our A is gonna be equal to one. So I get E to the minus S. Laplace transform of one is gonna be equal to one over S. For our next term, minus U, T minus three times one, same idea, except A is equal to three. So we're gonna get a minus E to the minus three S times one over S. Then, okay, this one's interesting. We'll have U, T minus three, times four minus t. So no, we're not shifted correctly. So I'm gonna replace the t with a t minus three plus three, whole thing in parentheses. We distribute the minus sign. This is gonna collapse down to a one minus t minus three. So here we're shifting by three, so a is three. So I'll have an e to the minus three s. Okay, our one is gonna to go to one over s. And then our t minus three, okay, you think of that as just being t, it's gonna to go to one over s squared. Finally, we have u t minus four times four minus t with a minus sign in front. That minus sign is gonna turn this into a t minus four. So we'll have a equals four, so I have e to the minus four s. And then the t minus four, that's just the t again, that's gonna to go to one over s squared. Now, here are all of our Laplace transforms. So we take their sum. You'll note all terms with a one over S are gonna cancel out and we'll be left with Laplace transform equal to one over S squared times one minus E to the minus S minus E to the minus three S plus E to the minus four S. Now, of course we check our work. So we're just gonna compute the Laplace transform using the definition. Now, here, what are we gonna do? The idea is we're gonna have different functions over different regions, so we're just gonna compute each one separately. So we're gonna have three integrals, and then the third one will split into two, so we really have four integrals. So what am gonna do? From zero to one, we're gonna integrate t against e to the minus s t dt. So that's an integration by parts. We work it out. For the next region, going from one to three, we're gonna have function equal to one, against e to the minus st. So we can integrate that straight up. That's gonna give us this term here. Then for our last two terms, so we have the function four minus t. This one we integrate straight ahead. And then this one, we're gonna have to do another integration by parts, but it's the same integration by parts as in our first step. So when we work all this out, you do your bookkeeping, you're gonna see that that's gonna check the answer we got using second shift form.